So, guess where I've been? An abandoned building. Guess what I bought? eBay stuff! She's always with me. Oh, sweet baby. Oh, sweet baby. Okay, so I have a abandoned building clean out and I need to get that processed. It's been sitting down here a couple days. So that's my goal today. Um, I'm hoping that I can just work through the night and get it all photographed to get it listed and really for me, the biggest thing is to get that stuff photographed. <laughs> Once it's photographed, it's super easy to just get those listings done and processed and out the door. Ooh, look at my cute little thing I got from Home Goods. It lights up. I just realized that when I was taking the sticker off finally after like a couple of weeks of having it, I finally took the sticker off. Look at that. Oh, cute. This thing is my grandma's. I had to put it there. It doesn't look like anything cool, but to me, but to me, I love my grandma. So, okay. So today I'll show you what I have. This is a abandoned building hall. That's right. <laughs> I just go wherever to get my eBay items. Whew. I'm not looking forward to doing this and I've been procrastinating for a couple days. It's extremely cold down here. I can feel my nose is getting really cold. Get everything ready. I'll show you what I have and hopefully I can get through this stuff. Maybe you have something similar and you can list it and find some good deals too to list. So here we go. Total procrastination. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so this is not going to look pretty. Just to warn you, if you like pretty, you might not want to watch this. Sorting eBay items from a haul is always messy. So I get through it. I either donate what I don't want to sell or I put it at a local auction house, which I love those people. They sell my they sell my stuff. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you what I have. I have not looked up anything and I have not even gone through these boxes yet. So I have no idea what is in here. <sighs> okay. I kind of knew what I was buying from a very vague picture. Put it that way. So here's a Wilton pan. Valentine's Day. I wish I made more. I used to cook with my kids all the time. I got this cute little lamp. Brass. Oh, it says Baldwin on the bottom. Baldwin. It's like a, it does have scratches and I'm assuming things are going to be broken or scratched. Um, there was a lot I bought specifically for a it's like a terrarium or one of those glass things with flowers in it. I wanted it for myself. I'm not going to say anything because I want to keep buying. When one of the employees gave me the box, they threw it on the table and I heard crap. So they didn't care at all. So I'm going to expect there to be broken things and scratched things and that's just how they are. The, some of the stuff is from a clear out I did in the summertime where I cleared out a lot of that house and I've resold and I've made you know, thousands already on the stuff and some stuff has even gone international. So, so here's, it's like a little genie lamp. I think this might go with it. Yeah. Okay. That's cute. Um, it's almost like a shell, like a plastic, um, lamp shade that looks very delicate. I do like the shade though. I have very little space here so I'm a little bit worried but we'll get it done. Little glass thing. No idea what this is. If I don't have any idea and you know what stuff is please let me know in the comments. What is this? It's got like a little almost government thing on it. It's glass. So weird. 
so this thing I'm gonna throw in a lot and I'm going to and it's actually marked on the bottom hmm I'm not gonna waste my time I am going to put this in a end of estate auction locally and I'm gonna make a big box and wrap it up I don't know what this is either um, a lot of times I use my Google Lens for things because I do not know what they are. This is marked Hong Kong on the bottom. WDCU maybe? I have no idea on that one. It's definitely weathered. This might be copper. I'm assuming this is copper or a copper composite. Then I've got some Lipton plastic jugs. I wanted it for Birdsey. A bunch of stuff for a dollar. So that's why I never complain because I just want to keep buying from them and... Hopefully they like me enough to sell to me. <laughs> they do know that I resell everything. So here's some Lipton jugs. Um, this was in my dollar lot. And I actually bid on this so I could just have one for myself for bird seed. I feed the birds every morning. It's something I do with my dog, Susan, every morning. So if it's worth something, I might list it. Otherwise, I'm going to keep them for myself. Works great for dog food, too. A lot of things can be used for this. Okay, we have candles. Beware of candles. The first thing I think of when I see something like this is trash. However, if you run comps, if you have like a set of candles, some candles are worth a lot of money. Um, candlelight, for instance, worth like, quite a bit. Just some random... Did I say that? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit my words. I'm swearing like a trucker. A state auction. So then we have, this is Avon, uh, made in Brazil, and it does have another mark on the bottom. These do sell quite a bit for me. I mean, they make, I mean, not like a total ton, but they make, you know, probably $30, $40. So that's worth buying. I think I bought this lot of, a bunch of these for probably around $6-ish. Altogether, I bought most of the items out of the abandoned building. I did not buy furniture, but most of like the household goods and stuff I bought for, I think, $96. I'm touching myself. Oh gosh. I just showered. <laughs> Oh my goodness, here is a rolling pin, marble, oh it's so heavy, holy smokes, how in the world would I ship this? I have some, a few scratches on it, the handle's a little wobbly, so that's a marble vintage rolling pin, beer stein. Another beer stein. I think these are all Avon, but I could be wrong. So this one's Avon. Beer stein. Another beer stein. It's got footballs on it. Avon. Actually, somebody tried to sell this for $20. I think I'm going to just box everything back in here and then photograph it. I'm going to put my hair back. Raise the hair. Okay. Whew. So I have... Oh. Oh, it's... <laughs> dusty it's very dusty okay I have no idea what this is and I really don't even really know what I'm buying um what is this why is this so long what I have no idea what these are what in the world what is this is the whole box what in the world what the heck is this and there's a rock? No idea what this is. <sighs> it's like really long. What is this? They're real dusty though, so I'm gonna have to. Oh my lands, what in the world? I don't know if I even want to deal with this. Um, some of the stuff that I bought from the abandoned building auction was from the Elk Lodge. So this might be like a party thing from the Elk Lodge. Whew. Oh, it's dusty. It's been sitting there for a while. So what I'll probably do is clean them. They are new. I actually did my hair today. It just always looks bad. If you're watching me, my hair is always going to look bad. and just is. Okay, so what I'll probably do is lock them all together. Sell them in a big box because they're all new. They'd be great for a party. Okay, so I have rolling pins here. Oh my goodness, these marble ones are so heavy. This one has a broken handle, but you could probably replace that. Alright. I definitely do not want this to roll off and whack somebody in the foot, which should probably be me. Okay. 
Um, so I'm assuming this is from the Elk Lodge too. I think this is like a tea lights candle holder. Um, there's several of these. The boxes are dirty. I am getting extremely dirty. So some of the boxes are not in that great condition. Um, looks like a big party. I don't know exactly. Definitely going to use my Google lens. The, the totes are so heavy. I don't know what's in them, but I can't carry them. So I'm just going to have to do one by one. Okay. Here is, oh, oh, oh. this is heavy. <laughs> Whatever this is, I'm so allergic to it. Everything is so dusty. Um, so here I have, I can barely lift this. It is so heavy, you guys. These are knobs, little knobs. It's a whole box. Um, I don't think I need knobs or anything. They're actually really good quality because they're super heavy. They actually have an item number on it, like back in the day. So I think they're older. I'll probably lock them all up. Cute little <laughs> business card holder sticky notes. I think I'll keep that for myself. This looks like it's homemade by, oh no, it's not. $5.49. Looks like fingerprints. Oh, I'm so itchy. I'm so itchy. I don't want to touch myself. Oh, this is cute. I love this. I love Prox. Um, Concord Hand Design. That one is super cute. There's the bottom. Oh, I wonder how much this is worth. If this isn't worth much, I might just keep it for like a little pencil holder. That is darling. I like that. Okay, here, these are keys and they are four skates. There's two of them in there. I might separate them and sell them, you know, one by one with this. Super old. I can't imagine putting this on my foot. This is like a good five, ten pounds. I am not kidding. Who wore that? They must have been extremely fit. Maybe I should put these on and wear them for exercise as I'm doing eBay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, so people like to sell candlesticks in a set of three. I don't know if you can see that, but here's a set of three. They're definitely like a rustic. Um, they have some scratches, they're used. But um, I don't know if you've ever priced these before. I know that I have, and I have sticks of three at my fireplaces. Um, and I have four of them, so I have looked up the comps on these quite a bit, and they go, for, once you buy three, it's quite a bit of money. I mean, I think I spent over $100 on mine, just for the set. Um, what is this? I assume this is a candle holder? I assume. Candle holder. Corn stock candle holder. Okay. Too bad I already bought some for my fireplaces. That would have been awesome. I think I'm just going to move these to the side for now. Oh, this is heavy and dirty. Okay, what is this? Okay, so I think this says Vintage Pine Ambiance Collection. And I have a whole set of dishes. I don't know if I want to ship this. Um, it is crazed, so I don't know if it was made like that. It definitely needs a good washing. It may have been made that way. I'm not sure. So if I'm not going to list this, I'm going to put it on the Facebook Marketplace. And so just a little store confessions. I only have like, what, 30 some views, subscribers right now. Maybe I just suck. I don't know. Maybe I suck. <laughs> Which could be. Um, so I'm thinking I just bought some business cards. Now, <laughs> this might be weird. <laughs> My husband thinks I'm totally insane. But <laughs> I am going to sell things on Facebook Marketplace. It was a little creepy with Craigslist. Um, I felt uncomfortable. Um, there was a couple weird situations. So I'm going to list on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I bought business cards and I'm going to give those people my business card that links it back to YouTube. <laughs> 
maybe I'll get a couple subscribers. <laughs> I don't mind paying for subscribers. <laughs> so I think I, I'm either going to list stuff like super cheap or I'm going to give some stuff away for free that I don't really want to take to the thrift store. Um, so I did get some artwork that I don't want to deal with. I did not bring it down here because I'm, I knew when I seen it, I didn't want it. So I do have it sitting there. Um, hopefully the business cards come today and I am going to list it on Facebook. Um, and it has like my store link, YouTube, Instagram. So I'm hoping that that will help drive some people. But hey, if I just suck that bad, <laughs> at least I'm having fun making the videos. <laughs> okay, so here. I don't think I'm going to ship this. This just uh, looks like a nightmare. Um, I, I mean, I know how to ship some like this, but by the time that you get to this length, um, the box is going to be over 18 inches, and that's going to be very expensive. The original price on the back is $19.99, which is probably vintage. However, um... I guess I can run some comps and see what that's doing. I'm going to carefully... Okay, so here I have a tray. I think it's like an aluminum. Um, I'm going to straighten it out. Right now it's just kind of unattached. And I'm going to definitely list this one. It's like an aluminum serving tray. I think this came from the Alcolage too. And then I'm going to unattach them, take, it a, take a picture, and then I'm going to list it like that. I probably won't run any sales until I get some of the stuff listed too. Because once I start this, I really need to finish it. Lily Tulip Cup Corporation, New York. Oh. So I like that it has like a, a name on the bottom and... Oh, here's the bottom. I'll, I'll list these together. I think these are just candle holders. So I'm going to put that in a lot. Here is another rolling pin. Is that for ravioli? Oh, that sounds good. That's really good right now. Ugh, I'm really so dusty. Okay, so here, so here's some vintage heads. Actually, I need one of these, so that's great. Ugh. It's a little scuffed up. Okay, but they're, I mean, they're like a new old stock, I would call this, and I would not list it as new. I would say new old stock on them, though. These definitely need to be cleaned up. I think I'll probably keep one for myself, because I do kind of, I've been wanting one, I just haven't bought one, so actually, I'm just going to throw that over there. This one's going to be listed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, there's a tote of Christmas miscellaneous whatever whatnots I quick look through there I am gonna it's a massive box like I could fit probably three of me in that box that's going to the that's going to the auction all of it is going um there's another tote of Christmas like streamers and stuff I don't think I'm gonna keep any of that um okay so here are some used candles I have actually, now these are probably 70s. I think I might list these. I've actually made quite a bit on vintage candles. I guess what I don't use, I could just melt down for camping and put some centronella oil in them. So I might not get, if they're not worth anything, I might just melt these down. This, um, if you look on the bottom, Colonial, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. That might actually be worth something. Whoa. Oh, gross. I'm disgusting. Okay. I don't know. Bath and Body? I don't know how old this is, though. I mean, that's kind of cool. I'll have to look that up. These, for sure. I've sold these before for quite a bit. It's definitely like 70s, 80s era. Same with this one, I assume. For sure I know these are. And this is another thing that I'll... I might just melt that down. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just bring it camping and melt it down. I'm going to try not to run out of room. <laughs> Here is a globe. It's got like a little Christmas scene. Oh, the stuff is really um abandoned smelling. <laughs> Here is an antique muff. This is cool. This might be um, real, which kind of grosses me out. It has a marking. Do I dare put my hand in here? This one is marked. Um, so the little pom-pom is in there. I might sew that back together. I'm going to try to s figure out what this is, though. It definitely feels real. 
and it's really old so I'm assuming it's real okay so I have this I don't know what that is I have this really big tablecloth this is cool this is all handmade this is either vintage or antique I'm thinking it's probably an antique um, it smells pretty gnarly so this is definitely gonna take some good soaking Ugh. and I'm thinking some of this stuff probably came from the auctioneer um, he was saying he had stuff in his barn and I did get his sister's um, photographs so <laughs> I think some of this is from his barn so this is cool this is a round tablecloth it's pink this is awesome look at that somebody hand did that can you imagine hand making that I used to crochet one here is a globe this is definitely vintage milk glass I saw that one and here's another one actually oh, since there's two maybe I will sell these very breakable though it's like really really breakable and I already put it in the get rid of pile so what's going on here I don't know so there's like a whole pile of these and there's beads coming off oh great I will probably because there's beads falling off as I'm talking I will probably take them and list them on Facebook Marketplace and just note that. Maybe if there's some that don't have... <sighs> I'm so allergic to this, you guys. <sighs> Ugh. If I get through this, it's going to be amazing. Okay, so this is so random. I have no idea. I think this is like a bed piece. I love, what is it, arts and crafts, I think they call it. This is so random, what in the world. Um, Hurricane milk glass. I just sold the other um, lamp at auction, so too bad I did that. I could have put those together, but when I deal with big estates like this or, or big buyouts, the goal is to get through it and move it on. So sometimes I move stuff on. Okay, so here I have two biggies. <laughs> Big cookies. It looks like Oreo cookies. Um, I think I paid like, I don't know, $6 for both of them. I don't know why it has the hole in the middle. Yeah, so, that's going to be a sell item. I don't know what that says. On the back, it's kind of coppery. It's like a pancake griddle, I think. Oh my goodness, this stuff is heavy. Okay, some weird fabric. This is not the first time I've had this fabric. I don't really know what it's for. Some uh, 2000 something, 2010-ish McDonald's cups. Oh, matching salt and pepper shakers. I always have random beer in my boxes. Ooh, it comes with a pepper. This is going to go to an estate lot. Okay, so there is like a whole massive amount of either fabric or linens. It looks like it has a raw edge. So I'll clean this. Oh, I'm gonna wash this and then, but there's a whole tote of these. I can't even lift the tote, there's so many of them. And I don't know if it's just the fabric, which it could be. Good for a party though. We'll have to see what it is, and then I'll decide if this is gonna go on Facebook Marketplace or list it. So I, I've had like six people complain to me this weekend. My shipping prices are too high, but most of my items I haven't even changed since the price increase. So I don't even know what to say about that. So I definitely consider that when shipping something, is it really worth the shipping? Um, I'm already getting complaints. And I really need to up most of my prices so either that or I might keep it the same and up the cost of the item but most of my items I sell at offers anyway so I'm not sure if that makes any sense so here is a new wrapped bundle of plates and I have two boxes of these um, these definitely go with a winter scene I guess um, so I might just put like a price on all of it and get rid of it at Facebook Marketplace. I don't know if I want to ship these. I'll look and see how much these are worth. They just seem like normal plates, but they do seem like... 
oh, oh, oh. This is my workout today. <laughs> These do seem, I mean, they're like nice, like everyday wear. Okay, so here's a tapestry. I need a little bit of glue back on here. Um, it's It looks like somebody just bought like a fabric square and then made like a little hanging thing for it. So I definitely need to steam this, re-glue this part. I'll definitely sell this. This is an easy sell. I'll just roll it up and place it in a box. I love like tapestries and, and vintage items like that. Easy things. <laughs> Okay, so here is a big afghan. Oh, this stuff is heavy. It's really pretty. I am definitely going to wash this carefully. I have a really bad habit of washing antique items and ruining them. So, with the red. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to throw this outside until I wash it. So, here I have, I don't know, what is this? Ew. Goodbye. <laughs> um, yeah, this is going to go to in that box. Um, there's a cute little picture for Christmas. I'm gonna sell that one. Oh, it's an actual set of ugly ones. I don't know. Maybe I will sell these. I might sell that as a set. Ooh, some random things that weren't supposed to be in my item. Ooh, pretty. That's a bonus. Some really dirty pans. Now, I recently sold a bunt pan, or I was selling, and I got in big trouble. <laughs> and the company did come after me. So. I'm not selling any bunt pan ever again. Never. This is new with tags. This is like a cover up. Now, I'm gonna have to move all this stuff because I'm starting to really get allergy irritated. Here is some more fabric. I do sell fabric quite well too, so we'll see how it goes. Here, this looks like a new vintage linen, but Christmas stocking. I'll sell that. I sold some Christmas stockings during Christmas. Oh, here's the matching tablecloth. And they sold super quick. Whew. This is definitely going to be a picture extravaganza tonight for me. I'm hoping to get a lot done. I slept really well last night and I slept in. So as long as I can take the dust and cleaning all this stuff up, I should be able to get some of it done. I wish these weren't falling apart because these are kind of cool. This has two of them so I think I'll take that back out of the box, clean it up, and I'm, I think I'm going to sell this as a set. As long as you have a big enough box and enough bubble wrap, you should be fine, I would think. We'll try it. We'll try it. And this is one of those items that you're going to want to double box. <laughs> double box this thing. Um, so also I have two massive boxes that I bought of boxes. And they're just like Christmas boxes. They're really big. But I think they were for that company and they didn't use them. So I am going to use those. I bought them I bought them for a dollar. I am not kidding. Two massive totes. And then I'm going to just take them and after I bubble wrap, I'm going to wrap them as my double packaging. That'll be like another protection. Something holiday in here. Another whole tote of Christmas. Oh! <gasps> I do like selling Christmas. Here is a... Okay, so these are like... I think these are a little cheese thing. New old stock. Um, if there's like an option for new or used, Sometimes I list these as used, even though it is new. A cute little church purse. Um, some vintage tablecloth or vintage tea towels. A sleigh, because you know you need that. So here's a picture. And as I'm doing this, I'm trying to like set things aside together, because I'm going to list them together. And when I list them, I take them the pictures off my phone. I go whatever is on my phone next. Don't touch yourself. Okay. Here is a little angel. I would say this is vintage. It might be a craft. No, it's not a craft. Vintage angel. Ooh, and here's another one of these. So that will be lotted up. That's an easy thing to ship. Some amazing balls. The funny thing is a lot of this stuff still has price tags on them. It's a little stiff. Here's an ornament. I sell ornaments really well. Light posts. That one I might keep. I do have a little village I, I like to put up. And just keep us. Vintage lights. Oh, 
lights. <gasps> Remember these. Remember these. I wonder if this works. Oh, they work. They work. Look, they work. Oh my goodness. Guess what? Finders keepers. Okay, these are ornaments. I have a whole row of Christmas over there that I'm photographing right now, so I'm just going to add these to that. Christmas is definitely my, one of my favorite things to list, and I think my husband's home. If he is, I'll have to come back later, because I always like to spend time with my husband. He comes first. Ooh, that's cute. Look at that. I love birds. So cute. I'm definitely going to sell that one, though. Cute, cute. Another ornament. I think that's an ornament. I have a bunch of little ornaments, so the like stuff I'll list together. Cause I'm not gonna list this separately, so. Oh, this is cool. Pine cone, oh, that's kinda neat. Might keep the pine cone. This is a decanter stopper. I do sell these really well. And even the ones I haven't sold, I've gotten a lot of people asking about them. So it's like a moose. Cool. Ooh, playing cards. 